Well, we all have <laughs> dreams of saving the world, don't we? Or most of us do, <laughs> at least in our good days, in our not selfish ones. Well, now you just ran out of excuses not to do it. Because I'm gonna introduce you to someone who, who's just taken like $350 and raised almost a half a million dollars to save the world. So all you need is $350 to get almost a half a million dollars. I mean, isn't that wonderful? I mean, it's just an incredible project. And it's not a selfish business or whatever. We should run businesses that way too. Their overhead is only $350 and they're out there collecting uh, on the web. You learn learning how to use the web actually uh, to collect funding to send kids to school all around the globe, to build you know better schoolhouses all around the globe. So what better way to help people, help people all over the world or help individuals get an education when they can't, you know that's the key to the world, that's the key to survival, that's the key to economic growth, that's the key to eliminating poverty. And, and so this is what Sarah, and this is what you could do. So if you don't like something, you could take as little as 300 bucks and wind up getting a half a million dollars to solve a problem we have in the country or in the world or whatever it is and it's all by just your efforts just you know your desire in here that's all it takes that's what you have to share and that's what you have to you know channel you know to make this happen and also when you watch this video you'll see another way that you could learn social media skills right everybody talks about social media social media you know, how do you use it? Well, here's a way to get that training on how to be an expert at social media for nothing. <laughs> I mean, you go Google about social media skills and learning and courses and everything. They'll charge you hundreds or thousands of dollars to do it. And here's how to get real life experience, real stuff on being an expert at this so you can get a better job than you ever had because every job is going to require this now. You know, and so, especially if like you're me, you're an older person, didn't grow up with social media. You know, how are you going to learn this stuff? Well, here's a way to do it. And here's a way to really help the world. Watch these people. They're doing good stuff and you could do it too. It doesn't take magic. It just takes desire. Well, Joyce Meng, <laughs> giveology.org. I mean, it's just an incredible thing. I mean, you tell me, it, your overhead is $350 and you've raised almost a half a million dollars for people around the globe to go to school and solve problems and everything on an overhead $350. Why don't we run businesses this way? How did you figure this out? <laughs> That you're saving the world and have no overhead. Wonderful. What's the magic? I think it's the 100% volunteer driven model. The concept that small dollars and small hours can aggregate. We get everything donated because I think people are wow. truly motivated by their ability to make a difference and to see how their investment in their time and their skills and their passion really create change in communities around the world. And so we're incredibly fortunate to have such an talented pool donate their time, their skills, and you know we run everything virtually and so we're able to keep our costs down as much as possible so that as much of the dollars that we raise flows through directly to our grassroots partners around the world. Wow, so in other words, you're, you have, you're setting up like clubs or, or chapters around the developed world that, that go into the communities and raise money, like you just raised $20,000 in New York with, with, I'm not sure what kind of party it was, but I wish it was there. Yeah. <laughs> like for, for books in Haiti or, and, and people in underdeveloped communities that really need help badly, and you're able to give 100% of every penny you earn, right? And yeah, so, yeah. And, and, but the way it works is that we have good. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. The way it works is that we work with about 48 grassroots partnerships in about uh -huh. 20 different countries, and we really try and identify the local, very high impact organizations that maybe you've never heard about because they're very local and individual, but they're doing incredible work in the community. Whether it's like you said, library construction in Haiti, oh. all the way to teacher training in Pakistan, rural uh, scholarships in China. And the way that we do that, it's almost 50% online through our Gimology.org funding platform and about 50% through our chapters. We have about 18 of them globally. And they're just basically groups of students or young professionals or anyone who just 
mobilizes their community to put on together events and awareness building events to raise funding for these partners. Wow. Partners. So in other words, like say in China, so a teacher training in China, you know, in a, um, well, there's no small villages in China, a small village of a million or whatever, <laughs> that you find some local grassroots organizations that heavily involved in that and you're able to raise funding from, uh, you find a, a chapter in, you know, Scranton, Pennsylvania or something that <laughs> to hook them up to help them with that. Is that correct? Yeah. So it's really building those uh -huh. projects communities around the world. But you also mentioned that it's the, the people who are active with you in the national or even in the chapters are able to learn skills themselves because it's all online right it's all virtual and they're able even to to like uh, uh, because you're a nonprofit they could learn how to use Google Ads right to learn how to raise money on the web and it costs you nothing because Google Ads give it to you for free right <laughs> yeah we're very fortunate to get a Google grants and so we have like a lot of different opportunities for volunteers on our team to develop skills like whether it's on the social media side Mm -hmm. We're on the advert spending side. Mm -hmm. We published a book, and all our writers were, you know, students or young professionals. And wow, it, the chance to be able to use the opportunity in Givology to really make a difference and to develop your own skills and talents mm -hmm. and to leverage what you already know and learn from such an incredible network of teammates, I think is you know one big reason why we've been really successful. So, in, in other words, if I was out there and I, I'm impressed with Givology because it's doing good work and gives 100% of the money to the people who really need it. And there's no overhead except 350 bucks uh, that if I want to learn social media or something I could come to one of your chapters or call your headquarters and say hey you know I, I want to give some of my time uh, to develop help develop your social media but I don't know what the hell I'm doing <laughs> can you point me <laughs> yeah. is, is that a real situation for you or not yeah, the idea is like we really believe that there's no one who can't learn these things. And uh -huh. The great thing is there's a lot of mentorship built into our program. And so even if you just really want to learn something, there's people who will teach it to you. And we have like all these different resources and we have a mentorship scheme within the internship programs and the volunteering programs that we, we've developed. That way people can wow. you know, perform at their best and, and, and gain some real world experience while doing it. Wow. So if I was to want to be a graphic artist, I mean, I could do the same thing with you guys. And you'd give me little projects and mentoring about how to do all this stuff and uh, all towards your Givology process. But uh, I would learn and build up those skills, it seems, by working for somebody who's really doing neat stuff around the world, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, you have uh, how many organizations? Forty organizations you're working with around the globe? Yeah. We work with about forty-eight grassroots partnerships. Uh -huh. currently. And, and then these are people that you vent in these countries that are doing good work that you help raise funds for for them to do work in these third-world countries that need it. I mean, for fifty dollars is what keep, keeps somebody not going to school, right? So that's what you that's guys are here for. Yeah. Yeah, and we spend a lot of time. Uh, vetting our potential projects. My background mm -hmm. is development economics, and so we spent, and we have great connections through our volunteer network and through our board members to to connect with organizations that we really I think are doing, and in you know throwing down inputs, but focusing on the quality of the programs yeah. that they're doing and maximizing the impact that they create per dollar. We have a very extensive screening process and due diligence process in place to admit new um, grassroots partners to our funding mm -hmm. network. Uh, so they're the people who get the money. So you're not just willy-nilly giving out the money. So you got it really there. Right? And then the volunteers. So what's your network of volunteers? You have how many people doing this now? So we have about 30 core team members who lead the strategy. Uh -huh. And then we probably have over 100 global volunteers. Wow! And they drop in for, you know, a translation project here and there. Right. For an event. And then we have 18 chapters and each chapter size varies but maybe like between 8 and 15 would be the typical size of a chapter and so we end up touching um, a lot of people but the great so thing you, is like you got a couple hundred our... people involved in this already right yeah and the great yeah. thing is like people who join our team they even if they like end up moving or something happens like they're still part of the giveology network and so the idea is like you never you never lose these connections because 
you know, I think it's so important to stay in touch. And whether it's 10 minutes here, an hour here, like everyone has an opportunity to give back. Yeah. Well, you can, and, and even if it's a dollar, because that goes a long way in these countries for someone to really yeah. change their life. Well, it's wonderful you guys are there, and you're online 24-7, givology.org, right? <laughs> and there you can volunteer, or be an intern, or whatever, or start a chapter, or, or just share some of that money, or share some of your time to help yeah, this wonderful organization that really does everything with volunteers and, and gives, uh, it sounds like 120% of your money away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we try and do matching campaigns and other things to get people uh, inspired to give. Yeah, well, wonderful. Well, you're a delight, Joyce. Thanks for being there and start, thanks for starting Givology.org, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Take care. Are you fired up? <laughs> Ready to go? I mean, just look at it. I mean, it, it, you see how focusing on your attention on something can really have an impact. I mean, how many people? She got 81,000 volunteer hours already. You know, 81,000, you know, 7,500 donors already. You know, and with an overhead of 350 bucks. Man, put the government to shame. <laughs> put a business to shame. <laughs> Boy, I haven't figured out how to do that.